This is probably the best lager I ever brewed and I think it's from a quite simple reason which is going to run through that of course in this grain to glass video this is brewed with my fresh hops from my own garden and yeah epic pour just doing a small glass because I have some experiments from this brew also so I need to try quite a few beers today the dog has just had a bath so she's in a blanket so this is a long video it's a grain to glass video but everything will be timestamped below so you can jump around or if you just want to download the recipe and click off it's in the description cheers garden hop keller beer grain to glass let's kick it I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Before we kick off with the brewing footage, this is a sponsored video. This video is sponsored by Angel Yeast. So I use their BF27 lager yeast. I used that one before. I also compared that with W3470 and the BF16, if I remember correctly. I will link down below to all of those comparisons videos. But this time I just used the BF27, but I did a split batch and let my patrons decide on the experiment. So we're doing temperature and pressure experiments. But today we're gonna start with the, the like base beer, we're gonna call it that. This is the cold fermented one under pressure. Then we also have some hotter fermented one, both under pressure and none under pressure. And I'm stoked to compare them to this because I have I've tried them all, but not side by side. I've been waiting for this moment. And if you want to check out all of Angie's brewing products, in this beer I used the BF27 and their Nutri Z yeast nutrient, you'll find the link down below in the description to Angie's yeast brewing product. Page. With no further ado, let's watch the brewing footage. Sunset on the canyon road One arm out my window Left and didn't tell a soul Where I'm headed, I don't know Life is heavy lately Nothing seems to go my way these days I feel the season changing And I think it's about time I close my eyes let it take me somewhere new tonight Wherever the wind blows, I'll go I'm not chasing it Whatever tomorrow's gonna hold I'll find my way I've been spending so much time Swimming up against the tide Wherever the wind blows, I know It's better than where I've been Light on a back road drive The last breath of late July Watch the days turn into nights None of them were ever mine Life is heavy lately Never stay that way Feel the season changing And I think it's about time I realized That I can still be someone new if I try Wherever the wind blows I'll go I'm not chasing it Whatever tomorrow's gonna hold Find my way I've been spending so much time Swimming up against the tide Wherever the wind blows I know It's better than where I've been
sunset on the canyon road One arm out my window Left and didn't tell a soul Where I'm headed, I don't know Life is heavy lately Nothing seems to go my way these days I feel the season changing And I think it's about time I close my eyes And let it take me somewhere new tonight Wherever the wind blows I'll go I'm not chasing it Whatever tomorrow's gonna hold Find my way I've been spending so much time Swimming up against the tide Wherever the wind blows I know It's better than where I've been Moonlight on the back road drive The last breath of late July Watch the days turn into nights None of them were ever mine Life is heavy lately And good things can never stay that way Feel the season changing And I think it's about time to realize Not chasing it Whatever tomorrow's gonna hold I'll find my way I've been spending so much time Swimming up against the tide Wherever the wind blows I know It's better than where I've been I'll go, I'm not chasing it Whatever tomorrow's gonna hold I'll find my way in I've been spending so much time Swimming up against the tide Wherever the wind blows I know It's better than where I've been It's better than where I've been Wherever the wind blows Wherever the wind blows Yeah Okay, so this is a couple of weeks later. I think this is like five weeks later now. So this took like a week to ferment out and it has been lagering for a bit. I'm calling this um, a Keller beer because I think the number fits the style but more like the taste and it's I did not filter it or anything so it has a slight haste to it it's not as dark as you see it the head retention on this beer is freaking amazing we're gonna run through the recipe together and discuss why I think this made such awesome beer I don't know if yeah you can see it's not it has slight haste to it but I think it looks very good a little bit of color on it which I wanted so I use some Munich malt in this one. Now we're gonna run through the recipe. I have it all here on my phone, or you can download it down in the description. The recipe is already up for my patrons to dig into in the Big Dr. Hans recipe book. So big shout out to my patrons and channel members. I will record a dedicated video for you after all of this is done. Hope I'm not tipsy by then. So the beer, we have a, a little bit of color lager, so which is really nice looking. 
butik all around. Oh, sorry. Why did I say that? And we have a really tight white head on, on this one. Good level of carbonation and the head goes nowhere and everyone loves a good head. Buy the t-shirt down below. Yeah. Buy it now. That's really nice. Like I use Hallet's out meat through hopes growing in my garden has a little twist to it. Cheers. It's a really nice beer, quite bold. It has some flavor to it, which I wanted. I think this ended up like 5%. I'm gonna check everything out in the recipe. I'm pointing at my phone, you can't see it, sorry. Let's run through the recipe and why I think this one is a winner. This was quite a big batch because I want to make this split batch for experiments. And don't think that you have to subscribe to my channel just because I'm promoting my, my experiments to come. You can instead just leave it. Don't subscribe, don't hit the notification bell and just hope that YouTube will promote a video for you when the experiment is out. Much better idea. Go and subscribe to someone else's channel instead. This was a 62 liter batch because I want to split it up and my big brewing system. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Handles a lot of wort, right? Wort. So I used 8.5 kilo. You can't see that either. I know. Why am I pointing at things they can't see? But I have one of these there also. I have a camera stuck in between. 8.5 kilos of Pilsner malt, I used 2 kilos of Munich malt and I used 1 kilo of wheat malt. But you have the percentage also, it basically like 70, 20, 10. I had some old Halletau meter frewer from 2019 that has been storing in the fridge. I want to use that up and use that for bittering that was dried. I have I made a video about how to dry hops, Tiggy? Or should we do that? So hops wise, I used 100 grams of Halletau meter frewer at 60 minutes, but this is a no chill. So if you look in the recipe, you will see that it actually says like 80 minutes and 40 minutes, but that is because this is no chill beer. So I'm actually adding 20 minutes. Link down below to my no chill guide. So you will figure all of that out if you're not into no chill, which you might should, because there are some benefits of no chill brewing. At 20 minutes, but the recipe says 40, right? I added 80 grams equivalent, equivalent 80 grams of Halle Tower meter floor. I got a question how to think about that. I will put out a video about how to brew with fresh hops. And I used two teaspoons of yeast nutrient at around 10, 15 minutes. That's it. I did one hour mash at 68C, then I raised up the temperatures to 76C, stayed there for a 10 minutes to rest before sparging. And I sparge up to the, the full volume, which is like 65. I don't really have a massive boil up, so I, I think I boiled off like two, maybe three liters. Then this was transferred over to my three cakes and chilled overnight. No shield, so look at the video, so this makes more sense if you're new to no shield brewing. And the next day when the wort was cold, I oxygenated wort with oxygen and then I added the yeast. These were fermented at two different temperatures. One was fermented with at 15C, which you have here. One was fermented at 25C, both at 15 PSI. And I also have a version that was fermented at 25C without no pressure. So that's... I'm looking forward to those experiments. Why did I choose 25C? It's because of the yeast, the BF27. Hold on. The BF27 from Angel Yeast. This says fermentation temperature 10 degrees Celsius up to 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, you get the Fahrenheit and everything here. Ideally 10 to 15. I didn't want to wait like two weeks, so I fermented at a 15C. But the other one is still in the fermentation range for this yeast, 25C. I have fermented the BF16 also from Energies at 25C. If you want to see how that came out, I will try to link to that one also if I can remember what this links. And if the 25C works out great, either with pressure or no pressure, I want to go hotter. I want to go hotter, but I will wait until we have done those tastings and the videos is out so you can give me your input. Not to blow my own horn, but this, this is awesome beer. Let's dig into the numbers. The original gravity was 1047 and this fermented out to 1009, which gives me an ABV of 5%. And the reason why I think this beer turned out 
really amazing as I said this is the best log I ever brewed is that I've kept it simple I kept it simple here's the mold for our base mold and we have just some unique mold and some wheat I used the wheat for some sort of head retention and from the Munich malt I wanted some color because I didn't want really pale beer because I like a little bit color in my beer and also I like some maltiness and also that I kept it simple with the hops I used one type of hops as a home brewer we, we like to add everything but the kitchen sink I didn't want like a hoppy beer I want like a more of a traditional German lager still getting hope aroma, hope taste from this beer. But I didn't want to add any hops after 20 minutes. If I wanted to like punch in the hops, I would have added them at like flame out or done a whirlpool at a cool temperature or something. So keeping it simple, even though we can add a lot, doesn't mean that we'll get better. If I look at my early recipes, they were all over the place. I'm trying to keep it simple, staying away from a lot of that caramel malt, which I used a lot as a beginner. As this split batch experiment with the BF27 is not about different yeast comparing BF27 with like other manufacturers or other varieties of yeast and this experiment was around temperature and pressure. If you want to know how the BF27 like compares with yeast you might know like the W3470 for example. You can check out that video. And if you've seen that video already maybe this one will fit you better. Thank you AMG for sponsoring the video and you. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Dog turns out. What is all that? It's so tricky. Yeah. Okay.